Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. This is my review of the iPod Touch 4th generation here. This is the 8 gigabyte version from Apple that retails for $229. And Apple says this brand new iPod Touch is the iPhone 4 without the phone. So let's go to see if it lives up to that claim there. And let's first look at the design of the device. It's a very sleek, very lightweight design device. The back of it has that same similar uh, shiny aluminum finish that you found on previous versions of the iPod Touch. But what you'll find on the back of the uh, iPod Touch now is a video camera that of course in 720p HD at 30 frames per second just like the iPhone 4 but the one thing it doesn't have that the iPhone has is that it doesn't have the LED flash so that kind of sucks uh, and also in the back next to the camera you'll find the microphone as well now on the front of the device you'll find a front-facing VGA camera which is exactly like the iPhone 4 and uh, also on the bottom of the uh, the iPod touch it only features one speaker which is one of my biggest gripes uh, I use this as my FaceTime my dedicated FaceTime device and um, in order to hear the other person on the other end, you have to have the volume turned all the way up. You can't really be in a loud room. Uh, so that one speaker is kind of sucks for the iPod Touch, being that it's a dedicated media device. It's not a phone. It's a dedicated media device. Um, and the iPhone 4 has two speakers. So I don't like that at all. Now, let's look at the thinness compared to the iPhone 4 of the iPod Touch. You can see it is really razor thin. Uh, it is way thinner than the iPhone 4. And also, it is lighter as well. So you hold the two in your hand. The iPhone 4 definitely has more bulk and uh, the iPod Touch just feels really lightweight in your hand. I really like the overall design of the iPod Touch. Now let's look at the Retina display. It features now the Retina display, which is a 960 by 640 screen that Apple says is the best screen out there for a portable device, and it still lives up to it. Um, when you're looking directly at the device, though, compared to the iPhone 4 you can see in this shot, it looks exactly the same. But when you do hold it at an angle, though, uh, you can see that the iPod Touch screen is not really, you can't really make out what's going on on the screen. That's because it doesn't have the same IPS uh, panel technology that the iPhone 4 has. So the only problem you'll come into if it's somebody's next to you want to watch the video on your iPod Touch with you, they may not be able to see the video as clearly as they would on the iPhone 4. But using it for personal usage, I never found a problem with it just because you're going to be looking straight at it. And um, let's look at the video recording on the iPod Touch. It does record an HD video, uh, 720p at 30 frames per second, but in the side-by-side -side comparison with the iPhone 4, which it has the same camera, you can see it's a really di a, a really big difference between the two, uh, the quality difference of the two videos there. The iPhone 4 definitely looks more sharper, the colors, the colors look a little bit more brighter, and everything just flows a little bit more fluidly. And uh, so if you... Uh, thinking that the iPod Touch is, has the same camera than the iPhone 4, don't think that at all. Now, it probably still has a better camera than any other MP3 player out there, but it's just not, just not living up to the claim in this regard as being just like the iPhone 4. Um, and also still photos, you can see here, you can still see a difference with the, uh, between the two devices itself. Uh, but again, it's just still, it's, it's all right. It's a nice camera to have on there. Uh, whether it's better than the flip camera, I don't think people will say that. Uh, but oh, hey, hey, it's on the MP3 player, right? Now let's look at the uh, multitasking and how this thing actually performs as far as running the iOS. It does uh, come with iOS 4.1. The only thing I think the only thing I noticed that it is missing from the iPhone 4 version of 4.1, it doesn't have the HDR uh, photo option in in the camera now, so you can't take HDR photos with this iPod Touch for some reason. Uh, but other than that, is multitasking runs very smooth on there. The iPod Touch has the A4 processor plus uh, 256. Uh, megs of RAM inside of it. So it does handle everything fine on here. As you can see in this video, everything is running really smoothly. I'm switching between games and application. It works. Um, so that brings us to another difference between this and the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 has 512 uh, megs of RAM and the iPod Touch only has 256. Uh, I haven't yet to see that really difference yet, but as more bigger games and, and, and more intensive games and applications come out, I think we'll be able to see the difference between the two devices in that regard. But overall, the iPod Touch is a very solid upgrade from the previous generation. It features a lot of cool features. It almost lives up to the claim to be the iPhone 4 without the phone, but it's good enough, and I think it's a really nice upgrade. If you're looking for just a portable media consumption device, the iPod Touch is where it is at. So I'm liking it. I give it a salute. Let me know what you think. If you have the iPod Touch, this latest one, leave a comment down below and let us know what you think in the community here. But everybody, thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.